A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustained in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn.
again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables saying the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son he dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast but they refused to come a second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My curves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away. One of his one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, the feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and uh, gathered all they found, bad and good alike. And the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there, not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, my friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is always, a, we have rules, rules in life. We don't just live anyhow. We must know that there is there should be order in life. Sometimes it's good to ask yourself, where do I fall in the choices in life? I know oftentimes there are people who include themselves in the invitation. And then there are others who are invited to be chosen. So oftentimes you have opportunity to attend the wedding banquet 
because you receive that invitation, invitation. And sometimes when you are invited, you don't attend. Or even when you chose to invite yourself, then you don't know there is a rule. A rule that it should be ordered. In the kingdom of God, there are some people who, who are born eunuchs. And then there are people who were made eunuchs by others. And then there are some who made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of God. But the key thing in life is that we need to know that we don't take life for granted. In today's gospel reading, we had people who were invited and they did not attend. There were the those who even said, I will, I will come, and then they did not go. And there are people who were picked up in the streets. Those are the people who don't know there should be rule in life. And so when the master of the wedding, when he came in and he saw someone who was not properly dressed for the wedding. So whatever you have, whatever gift you have, you must be careful with it. Whatever gift you have, whatever you don't take anything for granted. And you don't want to take God himself for granted in life. So let us ask God today to give us the grace to hold whatever we have carefully and to know that there should be order. Order in the family, order in our lives. That's why there should be discipline in our life. You don't just do whatever you like. There should be rules, there should be order, there should be discipline in life. That's what we should teach our children on a daily basis. It's not just whatever, do whatever you like, no. In the kingdom of God, we just don't do that also. In the kingdom, there should be discipline, there, should, there is a way we need to should live in God's kingdom. As the Lord calls us to the banquet of the Eucharist, let us speak to him in prayer. Let's pray for the church that it may so speak and act through us that the world will respond to God's call. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let's pray for the government and all the secular authorities that the concerns of this world may not blind them to the concerns of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the vision to understand that no matter how important worldly affairs may appear, all that really matters is to be one with God in the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord, Lord for the gift of charity, which is the true wedding garment, for the conversion of our stony hearts, that they be ready to love and do God's will. We pray to the Lord. Lord you can now add your own personal intentions. Father, you love us with a love which is beyond all we could ever hope for or imagine. You are attentive to every need before ever we know them ourselves. Look upon us and your children and look kindly upon us as we call upon you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
testing a lot of our creation to get good and so we create the offer, which very has given a human hands and they become a better life. Plus it being a Sacrifice and mind may be acceptable to God, to our mighty Father. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the abbots and Bernard, the man outstanding in word and deed who strove to bring order and concord to your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent us, your sa our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he do this passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are claimed. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, us. heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed the sea who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy the apostles to pray by sending down your faith upon them that it do fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, and the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of feet. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come to me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ to be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, our Francis, our Pope Daniel, our Archbishop George, our Savior, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into your life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
Now the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, as spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, and Mary to be good heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. My dear people of God, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, who pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. May we always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of church and Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. But the mingling of these body and blood of Christ bring eternal life to all who receive it. Lamb of God. Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world by your holy body and blood. Free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching. Never let us be parted from you. Oh, the Lamb of God, oh, Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Oh, oh that I'm not worthy that they should enter on my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.